Hey there guys, Alan from Tractor Tips. And today I thought I'd show you a quick review and breakdown of the Margo 4x4 virtual controller for Tractor. Looks a little bit like this on the iPad. Um, controls four decks wirelessly. And uh, there's also produced one for the iPhone that looks a little bit like this. So let's have a look, see how they operate. The first thing that needs to happen to make this work is you go in into the preferences. It's the first page you'll be met with when you open up the app and you need to connect uh, wirelessly to your computer. So both computers need to be on the same network um, and then you can select the, the relevant computer. And then what you also need to do is go online to the Margo website and uh, download the TSI. Uh, there is a help button at the very bottom which directs you to that page too. So that's pretty straightforward. All right, so the first thing you'll notice about the app is the busyness. And there's lots of buttons and it's all a little overwhelming to start with, but really when you look at it, it's very simple. You've got the deck split out into four, which you can zoom into, A, B, C, and D. Um, so you have full control. Uh, the main page, the effects page, so you can zoom in, and then the master for like browse and tempo. Um, you will notice that there is no volume controls. So it's designed to work with an external mixer. So the way I've got this set up is I've got um, the DJM external mixer. I've got an audio eight um, routed from tractor straight to the mixer. And then uh, once you've followed the instructions on the Margo website, um, download the TSI file and then you connect wirelessly to the same network using the iPad to the same network as the laptop. You can then wirelessly control uh, Tractor. So let's see how it works. Uh, we can go into the browser and we can also use in the master section we can use this to go through the browsers uh, up and down the tracks. Um, we can load A, B, C and D straight from here. Um, we can move through our favorites and we can move through our lists. Um, so this is the list up and down and uh, this is the favorites. And so you can stay in hold. Now, what I do like about this is um, you can actually go up and down by page. So in the main, you have page up and down. So you can zoom through by page instead of going track by track, which is a really nice feature. Um, so let me just sort these out so I can pick the latest track I have here. Um, so we can go up and down um, and let's grab this track now to load it. We can look a number of different options but we'll go to A and we'll load it into deck A. Now there are some queue jumps so you can jump between the queues. Um, you can lay cue points using this app, but I'd say it's probably better to have your cue points all set up first and just use this more of a play um, tool. So once we've got that in, um, put some volume on here and we can just cue. What I really like is when you hold the cue and you drag away, it actually starts, continues to play. So it's like pressing the cue and the play button. So that's really cool. So let's go, and, uh, let's go and line up another track. What you'll notice is that we have a, a pitch control. Um, so we can actually line these up properly. So we can get it in the headphones uh, through the mixer and just set it all up. So let's go into uh, master and we're gonna pick another track. So we'll go into browse and we'll just grab anything here. Okay, let's grab this one and we'll load that into deck B. Okay. You can also change the layout. So if you prefer, you can just jump between what sort of layout you like. So I want to see the mixer, so let's have a look at that. Um, so I've got the next track loaded up into deck B. We'll have a look at deck B. And then we can get the timing set up right. So I'm going to jump to the first cue point and I'll just get the timing. Now, what I really like about this app is you can hold it down and move the fader at the same time. So you don't have to 
press play and move it around. You can actually jump to the cue point and so we just need to get this in time. There are nudge buttons as well. And uh, if you're used to more of a tactile sort of feel with the deck, it does take a bit of getting used to, but it actually is really, really simple. So we can press play there. And once we've got that in time, okay. We've got fine controls here as well, so we can adjust the tempo by a tiny amount and nudge so we can just keep that all in. What's great is you can just rock up to the club with this and the mix is already installed there, right? So you can just take your iPad and your laptop and you're, you're good to go. Let's have a look at some of the effects controls. So. Go into the effects, it works just the same. You can actually skip through the effects, finding your, the right effect that you want. And uh, we'll have a beat slicer. You can change the knobs to be rotate or vertical slide right here. So let's hit vertical slide. So it's easier, I find that easier to control. We'll turn the effects on. And we need to make sure the effect is on in the deck. And we just have the beat slicer. And you can reset. It's got all the same controls that, that does on the on the screen. So it's really functional. It completely mirrors tractor. And it's real sweet and easy to use. Um, obviously you can uh, take it with you and move around and do some cool things while you're DJing, but uh, I think it's a sweet little app. Um, it's got all the controls for like manual DJing as well, um, if you're not into using the sync, but if you do want to sync as well, it has that option. So a great app to use with an external, uh, external mixer, and it keeps your uh, control surfaces small, so you can just take them to the club and or the bar and uh, keep it pretty lightweight. So what about the phone then? Let's have a look. Once you open this up, again, we can connect it, just pick the right computer, it'll synchronize, and then we should be good to go. So let's have a look and see how this does it. Let's go into browse, and uh, we can look through the tracks here. Now let's pick any track here and load it into deck A and go to deck A and we can select the cue point by moving along and then we have and we can slide away and it plays. Again we have the pitch control so let's load in, let's go and browse and get another track here. Let's try this one, load it to deck B Go to deck B, Q select. Let's go with a sync on this one. Let's try it out, a bit of volume here. Perfect. And we have loops as well, so we can throw a loop in on deck A. When you press loop, it automatically loops it to Eight. And you can change the size of the loop. And we can stop that there. So another great little app. Um, again, same does the effects. And uh, you can seek through tracks and find the relevant place. And again, with the cue points, move around. So a great little addition if you want to keep uh, keep your setup minimal. The only problem I can see with using the iPhone is people think you're texting your friends or checking stuff on the internet and not actually DJing. But it's completely controllable. Again, you can use the, the pitch fader. Um, works perfectly well. 
and you've got the fine pitch as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun. I find that the iPad app is probably a better option um, for the serious sort of take to the club or bar and, uh, and, and have a proper DJ on here. I could definitely see myself using this, um, going to little gigs and just, I need a lightweight controller instead of taking the whole S4 and everything. Just pack the uh, audio card and uh, the laptop and the, and the iPad and I'm set. So it's a great, great little setup.